what it do, y'all. Y'all already know who it is. It's boy DJ Rowdy A. And myself, along with the entire Gotham City Street team, would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas! Uh, season greetings, everybody. New Year's. Be ready for New Year's. Uh, I love you and can't wait to see you uh, next year. Let's party on New Year's. Yo, be on the lookout on the latest flyers. You already know, coming out. Ciao! Ciao! There we go, what's up, man? Uh, this is the Gotham, this is the official Gotham City Street team. Yeah, man, so there's a lot of rumors going around right now, so I definitely want to just take the time to clarify everything because it's a big mess. A lot of people are confused as hell, so this is clarification time. Spread the word. Rowdy A clarifies everything in his new Good Day Rowdy A. I want to start off with this text message. This text message is really the whole purpose of the reason why we have to clarify everything. <laughs> Attention, Gotham motherfucking city is not canceled. So whoever is spreading the rumor saying it is should shot themselves laugh out loud. DJ Rowdy A was fired. So now Gotham City is under new management, special guest host this year at Gotham. Check out the forward and send it to all of your friends. Long live wild nights and long live all the down ass memories you had at Gotham City. Wow. See, that text message upset me for several reasons, okay? Thing number one, it stated Rowdy was fired from Gotham City. Let me clarify that, okay? Rowdy was fired from the Hudson Theater. The Hudson Theater and Gotham City are two separate things. The Hudson Theater is the name of the venue in its entirety. Gotham City is the name of the brand that I created to put at the Hudson Theater. Like, that's my club name. It's Club Gotham City. That's the name of my event. The Hudson Theater is the name of the venue. I know I didn't come up with the name Gotham City. Obviously, I hollered at the homie Batman was like, hey, what's up, Batman? What are you doing? Hey, I hope you don't mind, dog, but I want to use Gotham City, you know, to promote and shit because Gotham City is so fresh. And the Batman is like, let me ask Alfred. So we asked Alfred, and me and Alfred go way back and shit. He used to butler my granddaddy, so it was all gravy at that point. You know what I mean? So it's cool. Gotham City is cool. You know what I'm saying? But... I did not get fired from Gotham City. I got fired from the Hudson Theater. Let's talk about why Rowdy A was fired from the Hudson Theater. This past Friday, I decided to help the community out. Um, you know, I wanted to help the less fortunate kids that, you know, didn't get presents on Christmas and, and you know, wanted something to smile about. Because at one point, I was one of those kids that didn't receive nothing on Christmas and did not smile on Christmas, okay? So I felt like it was in me. I was in a position to give, so I wanted to give. So we did a toy drive at Gotham City. We did a toy drive at the Hudson Theater for the kids. Uh, shout out to everybody that brought out toys, man. I know you made a lot of kids smile. You should have seen the kids' faces when we were handing the presents out. It was an amazing thing. But, okay, so, everyone, a lot of people brought through presents. There was a lot of presents. At the end of the night, I'm already, I already leave Gotham. I'm already on my way home. I called the homie. Hey, dog, make sure you grab all the toys, put it in your truck. I would, would never want to leave those there. You know what I'm saying? He said, okay, don't trip, dog. I said, for sure. Get a text message saying, you're crazy. He said, What? So then I call, like, hey, what's up with my presents? How come you're not letting my boy take them? The Hudson Theater, the owner of the Hudson Theater stated that she did not want me to take the presents because she wanted to take the presents to the, to the Rock Church across the street and get credit for the Hudson Theater. Now, at this point, I've been promoting this toy drive for a while. I can't look like an idiot not having any toys, letting them take the toys, but I just wanted to give them away to where I was planning to give them away to. So we get in an argument. Um, by the end of the argument, I'm getting yelled at over the phone. Over the phone, I'm getting yelled at in the argument, and she's yelling, 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 and I'm arguing back like I just want the toys. It's not that big of a deal. Are we really arguing about toys right now? So then she starts getting rude and starts saying mean things to me. I'm not a rude or mean person any way, shape, or form. So at that point, I snapped. Like, she was disrespecting me. I snapped. I said, you know what? Fuck the toys. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about right now. This is fucking stupid. We're arguing right now about fucking toys. Do you understand how fucking stupid this is? Keep the fucking toys. I was just trying to help the fucking kids out so I can fucking make a bunch of fucking kids smile. So keep the fucking toys. Have a 
Beautiful fucking night. Good the fuck night. And I hang up. Apologize for all the fucks. Just you guys understand where I was at. I hang up. That was it, okay? I get a call from the assistant at the Hudson. Hey, dog, that's messed up. What do you mean that's messed up? One of your homies took the presents. Do you know who did it? Yes, they told me who did it. I call the homie. Hey, dog, I already talked to the owner. Let's take the presents back. I don't care. I told him they could have it. Bada bing, bada boom. He said for sure. Call the system back. Hey, dog, my homie's bringing the presents back. Just take them. Don't trip. Everything's all gravy. It's all good. For sure, for sure. At that point, when everything was all gravy, I got a text message from the owner of the Hudson. The first text message stated, you are not welcome at the Hudson Theater. You are fucking fired. So I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Like, at that point, I was confused as shit. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, why I would get fired over toys. So I called the assistant. Hey, dog, she just fired me. What's going on? The assistant and his assistant's partner said, Rowdy, don't worry about it. She's probably having a bad night. Um, just go to sleep. When you wake up, everything will be a lot better. You know, she will be in a better mood. And just talk it out. It'll be all good. I said, for sure. For sure. I'll do that. I'll do that. Went to sleep. Left it alone. You know, I figured in the morning I'm going to wake up. Everything's going to be all gravy. Wake up. And I wake up to a very interesting text message. The text message stated, Rowdy, quote, quote, Rowdy. You and your promoters are no longer allowed at the Hudson. Take your toys and stay away from my venue. Quote, six exclamation marks. I wake up to that text message like, what the fuck just happened? So I text back. I don't know how last night got to this point. There's no reason we should go separate ways. I've been promoting for the Hudson Theater for the last three years. Please hit me back. Please let me know how to work this out. This is my livelihood, and this is my company's livelihood that's based on this. Please, let's work this out. Tell me exactly what you want me to do to work this out. So I put my tail beneath my legs. I put my pride aside after being disrespected, and I told her I still need the venue. Fi I find out she already gave the club, gave Fridays to a new promoter. So that... My friends, is how I got fired from the Hudson Theater. Rowdy A was fired from the Hudson Theater over toys that I was just trying to be nice about. This is where we're at. Gotham City is no longer at the Hudson Theater because of toys. Um, now, this is the whole dramatic part. They're still trying to throw Gotham City at the Hudson Theater with the new promoter managing it, saying that that's his event. No, Gotham City, all you guys obviously know, I created that. I created the entire brand. I created the show. I need everyone to spread the word. There is no Gotham City without DJ Rowdy A, and that's not a cocky comment. That's a truthful comment. That's a comment that all my fans were just telling me, so that's, you know, from y'all. So, no, there's no Gotham City without DJ Rowdy A. Now, y'all ready for the boo -bop? Bam! New Year's is coming up. My second annual New Year's Eve countdown is coming up, man. So I need everybody, all my supporters, all my fans, all my friends, my family. I need everybody that's ever supported Gotham at any point to make sure that they come and support. At our all-new location, the re-grand opening of America's largest weekly dance concert. Largest weekly dance concert. 4,000 people every single Friday. The Renew Grand Opening, located right around the corner from the Hudson Theater. It's located at the ASU Fox Theater in San Bernardino. The all-new, remodeled ASU Fox Theater in San Bernardino. Now, with this, we're going to take the time to fix every single issue that Gotham City at the Hudson Theater had. Gotham City, New Year's Eve. ASU Fox Theater in San Bernardino. Stay posted for all event info. I love GothamCity.com. We will be fixing things such as new friendly security, such as parking lot patrol, such as no little kids, such as no ugly outfits, no ugly looking like you just came from your, from fucking a homie and you're in there now looking all raggedy. Come dressing trendy. This is a whole new show, whole new vibe, whole new experience, man. This is a whole new Gotham City. Gotham City, ASU Fox Theater, New Year's Eve countdown. Stay posted for the info. This is game time. I need you now more than ever. Gotham City, you guys know where Gotham City's at. And let's just get it in from there, man. Thumbs up, pinkies down. DJ Rowdy A appreciates everybody for watching. Shout out to the haters that are trying to steal my baby. My baby, Gotham City. You ain't going down. And I love you guys. Yeah, straight up. Thumbs up. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, y'all. What?